Now let's look at practical demonstration of AWS Athena. So what we are going to do over here is analyze S3 logs or Beanstalk's logs. So we are going to analyze that using Athena. So I'm inside this public bucket, which is Athena examples, and this is a AWS bucket. And inside that we have ELB, raw, 2015 and then there are folders by month so inside let's say january f and then there are dates so inside january 1st we have this um, beanstalk logs apache logs and let's look at that so i'm going to download one of the file and it's a lot of data that is like 500 plus megabytes um, in this file and almost 450 in other files so we're going to analyze all this data. So once it's downloaded, we're going to look at this file and see what we are going to analyze. So as you can see over here, we have all these logs and it's almost like million lines of logs per file. And basically these are the access logs and you have the timestamp, the ELB name, the IP address, and all those details the request method and the url and all those details so we're going to analyze this log using athena so i'm going to go to my athena consoles first of all let's say i'm inside my aws management console and i'm going to go to athena and you might get a different screen depending on um, at what time basically if you're running it for first time you might get a different screen so you might uh, you want to dismiss whatever is shown and then you can come up here so I'm inside my default database and I'm going to run a query over here so it's similar to what we did in hive so basically almost same so I'm going to create a table over here uh, and it's the it's, let us call let let us call it ELB logs raw native and then these are the fields for the table and then again we are using a serializer deserializer that we have discussed earlier and the property the input regular expression we are going to provide that so it will match this regular expression with the logs and then try to populate the data field by field depending on the matching of the regular expression so it will populate this table for us and we are also going to provide the location. So the folder, we're going to provide the folder where these logs are located. So it's inside this bucket and it's a public AWS bucket. It is not my bucket. So you can also access it. And inside the ELB, we have the raw. So I'm going to go there. And here are our logs. So I'm going to run this query and it will create a table. So it's just a metadata, so it's not going to load the data because data is in S3 and it is, it is going to leave it in S3. So it's quick. So right now the table is created and over here you can preview the table and do other stuff or you could cr create a table through the console. Like you can click on here, create table from S3 bucket data, create a database if you want. So I'm going to... And give it a name Athena sample and then table name and then we have to provide the path just like we did in our query so I'm going to do that so I'm just going to show you real quick how to use this click next so it requires a dash at the end and then whether it's a csv so if it's csv you don't need to provide a pattern but we have apache web log so we're going to provide a pattern which we already did in our query and or you can select other formats and then i'm going to click next and now here you have to add the column so what each column is you could bulk add columns by just doing like name string comma age integer and then click add and it will add the columns and it should correspond to your logs or whatever data you're trying to read click next and 
you can add a partition and create table and we're going to look at partition in a different video so we are not going to create the table because we have already done that so i'm going to go back to athena and if you go to your default schema and our default database you'll see the table that we have created over here with the columns so now let's read our data so i'm going to run this query so here we have a field called elb response code uh, which is inside the logs and we want to query the response code with 200 so i'm going to query that and we're just going to limit it to 100 data 100 rows so i'm going to run the query and say so it says it scanned 91 megabytes of data it took 2.7 seconds and here are our 100 data rows with elb response code of 200 and here's our query uh, it's just like a sql query so in this video we saw basics of how to create a table in athena and how to query your data in s3 in the next video we are going to look at partitioning the data and how you can achieve faster retrieval times using partitions if it suits your data model so let's look at partitioning in next video